There's a cycle of love and death that shapes the lives of those who choose to travel in the company of animals. It is a cycle unlike any other. To those who have never lived through its turnings and walked its rocky path, our willingness to give our hearts with full knowledge that they will be broken seems incomprehensible. Only we know how small a price we pay for what we receive. Our grief, no matter how powerful it may be, is an insufficient measure of the joy we have been given. In 2010, Nuka came into my life. An 80-year-old woman decided it was best for him to have a new home, so she gave him to the Polson Rescue Group. After I adopted the five-month-old pup, I called the woman to let her know that he was in good hands. She was very happy and in tears. She told me that she had to tie him up outside during the day and keep him on the porch at night. Not surprising, given that he was a puppy and a Border Collie puppy at that. Nuka wasn't sure what to think of his new home. The front porch was his favorite hangout. I didn't know if it was because he thought it was a potential escape route or if he truly liked the view and the lawn chair. After a few days, Nuka knew this was his forever home. Our first hike was in the Bridger Mountains on a long tether. This was the start of nearly 13 years exploring wild places together. This hike also inspired creativity for a graphic design class. Nuka brought a tapestry of color and brightness into my life. In addition to exploring the outside, we explored all kinds of activities, including agility and tri ball. While our skills weren't ready for the pressures of a sanctioned agility trial, we did it anyway. Would you rather be Governor Walker's dog or dead?
What are you doing? He's doing it. Turning around. Start talking. Let's talk. Okay. Right. This is the right pose. Yeah. Why don't you have him sit? Okay. Good job. All right. Well, thanks for taking for a walk. Have fun. I will be here. We'll have a great time. Bye. Forget about us. We're in control. <laughs> Always. <laughs> See you guys. Yeah. Bye. Okay. Come. Look over to us for a walk. Nuka has a special announcement for you. Is that it? That's all you want to say? Okay. Whoa. You hungry? You want some maple bacon? Ruff. Ruff. Maple bacon. Want some maple bacon? Thank dog for the fresh six inches of powder in the mountains today. Act like a wolf. Woo! 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 <laughs> Nuka, like a wolf. Get it like a wolf. Yeah, like a wolf. Get it. Nuka found a boot. We have no idea whose boot it belongs to. <laughs> The dogs are wild. <laughs> Kath is pretty wild too. Who's Oops, wild? Nuka, get out of the flowers. <laughs> Sorry, oh Vicky. Gosh. Are you recycling? Good boy. Are you recycling? Woohoo! Good recycling dog. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Here's our hiking trail. Now part of the river. Thank you.
zurückgekommen. Okay, get out, get out. You could get out. Aren't they cute? Hi, what's your name? You could down. Good boy. Boy. Okay, up, up. Good boy. Good boy. He loves the goats. Easy, easy, Nuka. Easy. Easy. Good boy. Nuka, easy. I know you love the goats. Good. Nuka, come. At the age of two, Nuka was diagnosed with a degenerative lower spine condition. We continued living life, but without the jumping, twisting, or fast fetching. As he got older and experienced flare-ups, he'd follow the doctor's orders of a rest break for one to two months with strong anti-inflammatories and physical therapy, such as walking Cavaletti pulls. Good boy! We were extremely fortunate how well he did over the years.
In the summer of 2022, I noticed a change in Nuka. At times, he seemed a bit disoriented and to not hear as well. I thought that perhaps he was getting dementia. The veterinarian thought he was very responsive and his hearing was normal. One morning in February, Nuka was stumbling as he made his way toward me. We saw the veterinarian that day and I asked if it could be a brain tumor after she couldn't really say what was going on. Three days later, on Nuka's 13th birthday, he was diagnosed with a small tumor in his cerebrum. Radiation therapy can be successful, but it can also have limitations. I decided to pursue palliative care. We continued walking, playing, and having fun. Every minute was precious. Get the box. Get it. Get it. Good boy. Nuka, get the stick. Let's go. Hey, okay, okay. Nuka, how'd you get that nice stick? And that nice vest. Boy, you are styling. Good boy. Boy. There it goes. He still walks faster than I do. Get squeaky pigs. Yes, get squeaky pigs. Drop. Good boy. Do you want to get him again? Okay, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Get him, squeaky pigs. Good boy. Nuka started to drag his rear paws, which produced abrasions on the tops. Giving up our walks was not an option. I rotated through three brands of booties, depending on the surface of where we walked. Oh, you got a nice pine cone. Bring. Good boy. Good boy. A little bit closer. Come on. A little closer. Oh, good boy. All right. Good boy, Nuka. Good boy. Bring here. Good boy. As Nuka really started to decline, he lost interest in his toys, but he would still walk. We kept walking. We walked until the end. Nuka retrieved his last ball from the tennis court where he and I have been swiping balls for over 12 years. Good boy. We're so proud of you. Yay. Once again, you score. All right. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Nuka. He savored his last bone. And then I helped him over the rainbow where all things we love go.